talk about acting, and to start by talking about acting. How many of you are interested in, are interested in or do acting at school? No. Okay, let me tell you, put your hands down. Let me tell you this. They've done physiological studies on the human body to determine what is the most stressful thing you can do as an occupation. The most stressful thing you can do in an occupation is to land a jet fighter on an aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean at night. <laughs> that is the most stressful that thing. Am do you I know what number two is? <laughs> number two is standing up in front of a group of people and speaking. What? Yes. <laughs> there is nothing more terrifying than getting up in front of people. And actors who like to do it don't understand that. But we're terrified before we go up. If you're not at least a little afraid, if you don't get the butterflies, if it doesn't make you scared, you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> it's a little scary. I mean, in a moment here, I'm going to ask these 12 people to get up and, and form a circle and do silly things, so it'll be wonderful. <laughs> And that'll make, it's easier with a group of people. But what do you guys, and no, 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 let me switch that. Acting, whether you've done it, whether you think you can do it, whether you never, ever, ever want to do it, is a great thing for you to try. Because of the fact that if you fail, you don't crash a $45 million aircraft into your fellow <laughs> seamen on the deck. <laughs> right? If you fail at acting, all you do is you go, oh, I'm scared, I quit. Right? <laughs> or you take it as a learning experience and therefore uh, turn it into something you could use to be better next Absolutely. time. Absolutely. What, what, what it gives you is the skills to know that I stood up and did that once, I can do it again, I can do it again. I'm confident, it gives you more confidence, it gives you more presence. It gives you more ideas of fun things to do around a campfire late at night in the middle of the woods with bears watching. <laughs> I just threw the bears in part, the bears part in because I just thought I would. I love bears. I love bears too, except when they chew on my head. <laughs> so you 12 get up, let's get a circle. So I encourage you all to try out acting. Circle, circle, facing each other. Oh. Not a trapezoid. <laughs> not, not a Mobius loop. No oblique spheroids. Excuse me, you bumped right into me. <laughs> okay, so this game is called Donkey. Okay? It's called what? Donkey. The way this game works is I'm going to point to one person and they form the center of the donkey. And when I point to them, I'll say either donkey, horse, rabbit, donkey, horse, rabbit, elephant. <laughs> donkey, horse, rabbit, or elephant. And each one of these animals has a different shape associated with it, starting with the person in the center. So for instance, if I were to say horse, you would go like this, and each of you on either side would put little horse ears up. Just one hand. Yeah, there you go. So that's horse. Everyone got it? Oh. You see? And it's, all, it's the people next to us? The people next okay. to you. So let's practice horse. Ready? Horse. Okay, great. Now, uh, next, uh, let's say elephant. So I point at you. What do you think, elephant? Oh, brilliant. And then big ears on the side. There you go. <laughs> elephant. And then, um, let's see. What did I say? Rabbit. Rabbit. Uh, rabbit. Oh, yeah. Buck teeth. Here, let's do this. Here, look up. Do it like this. It's a little simpler. Yeah. Rabbit, and then big rabbit ears. There you go. Excellent. So you know what rabbit is. Now there's a fourth one, donkey. And later on we may add some extras. Uh, donkey, if I point at you and say donkey, you don't move at all. You have to freeze. Now what I failed to tell you is that I'm going to be counting very quickly to ten. And if you're not in that shape by ten, you're out and you have to have a seat. <laughs> it's okay. In life, everybody wins. Let's do a practice round. Ready? Horse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rabbit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Donkey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, you'd be out because donkey is still, oh, yeah. I still don't do anything with that. Uh, elephant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Now. Is everyone ready? <laughs> I'm going to count much faster now. <laughs> ready? And not that much faster. Oh, easy. Horse! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Donkey! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Rabbit! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Elephant! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Donkey! One, two, three, four,
nine, ten elephant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten horse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rabbit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten horse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> to be involved with what you're doing in that moment and everything else has to disappear and that's what a game like this oh my gosh there's tape on the floor <laughs> that's what a game like this teaches you it teaches you how to put your brain in that mode to where all you think about is the partner the group the activity the obstacle i was the obstacle in this case i was giving the tasks going along yes um i also think about it's funny that she mentioned that book because i am taking an acting class right now i'm in um i'm going for theater Excellent. and i think about you know, guidepost number one, guidepost number two, relationships, yep. conflict, um, the moment before, and yep. things like that. So I don't think about people watching me. It's a good book to, yeah. book to write. Yeah, you know, this book they're talking about is called Audition by Michael Shurtleff, and it's been a classic in the acting realm since 
I, I, I had it in 1989. Walk? Yeah. 1989, that's back with parachute pants and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> there were no parachute pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there were dinosaurs. There were dinosaurs. But if you're going to you audition for something, too. that's a great book for you to get. So that's what an activity like that gives you. 